All right, so we're going to be taking blood pressure on Weston today. Uh, first thing we need to do is make sure Weston's in a comfortable position. So with his right arm uh, supported on the desk, he's in a good position there. One thing I would ask Weston to do is if he can roll his sleeve up slightly because we really don't want clothing underneath the cuff if we can avoid it. With the actual cuff itself, we're going to be placing the cuff about an inch above the elbow crease. So when I position the cuff, you'll see the bottom edge will be about two and a half centimetres above where the elbow crease is. The other thing with the, with the uh, cuff is we've got a stethoscope built into this one and I'm going to place the stethoscope over his brachial artery, which is found just on the inside of the bicep. So I place the stethoscope in the position, I wrap the cuff around so it's nice and snug and that's all set up ready to take the blood pressure. Now with the actual device itself, we have an inflation bell, we have a stethoscope and we obviously have our data readout. Um, the key thing here is to make sure that the cords don't touch if we can avoid it because that can give you a false reading, you'll hear a tapping sound. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to inflate the, uh, the cuff up to 170 on my readout. Um, and I'm going to be listening for some tapping sounds. Now, at 170, we shouldn't hear anything. I'll slowly release the pressure, and I'm listening for sounds that I can now hear, and that's the blood starting to move back through the artery. Okay? If at any time the client feels uncomfortable, they can just let me know. We release the pressure really quickly, and we can, uh, we can let them out. The speed at which we reduce the pressure is about two millimetres of mercury per second. So that's one of the smaller lines. So this isn't a very fast drop in pressure. We want to make sure that we're hearing what we should be. So I'm listening for the first tapping sounds that I hear, that's systolic blood pressure. And I'm going to continue to drop the pressure until I can't hear any sounds. And where it goes from tapping to nothing, that is our diastolic blood pressure. Okay, you're right to go? Yep. The other thing that we should ask the client is if they've ever had blood pressure taken before. So have you ever had your blood pressure measured? Yes. Uh, have you ever been told that it's abnormal? No. Okay. All right. So we'll now inflate the cuff up to 170. Now release. Once you've measured the blood pressure, make sure you take the cuff off and squeeze all the air out, and that's now ready to use for the next client. I would then record my result, and then I'd tell the client. So, Weston, that was 110 over 70, which is absolutely where you need.